I have the M248 here. More Josh CCLP4. We're going to not waste any time going into the volcano, and apparently there's hot blocks, so I'm going to find fire boots. Bummer. Bummer. Okay, so... Let me guess, that one up there is another hot block? Bummer. Yep, okay, that's what I thought. So it's that one, that one, that one, and that one that have chips. There's got to be fire boots around here somewhere. Yep, there's some. Nice and easy to obtain. Alright, so the two sides here are symmetrical. That's actually pretty cool. So what do we do with the fireballs? Oh, there is an end to the fireballs. I think I'm going to go around um, the direction they were traveling and hopefully not die because it's hard to see fireballs on fire. That's true regardless of tile set, though. <laughs> Something under my left arrow key was weird. That's quite a wait. Okay, so it looks like if I hadn't gone a bit left, I wouldn't have had to wait at all, though. Well, limit your use of pop-up walls. The outside ones would be the most useful. Yeah, I kind of know how uh, pop-up walls work. I guess it wasn't something under my left arrow key so much as like it was resting on its uh, spot a little strange. Or a little weirdly. Anyway, that's into the volcano down. Moving on to loot. Which I know loot pretty well. Stuff under all of these blocks and there is a secret hint. I will see if I can remember how to get to it. I think he just partial post. So I'm going to do my best to not miss any tips under blocks just because tracking down one that was missed is pretty painful. Yeah, secret hint. So I guess this, so I already knew this was the entire level, just run here on picking up chips. There's... I feel like I have to sneeze, but I don't, it's annoying. There's definitely worse um, ideas. Like, I, I definitely prefer this to the upcoming attack um, a couple videos ago. Just because, uh... This is so much shorter, and there is the, and there are the blocks. And of course, there's one. There's always one. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure I pushed all of them. There's nothing through either teleport moving up. Uh, what happens if we partial post to the right? <laughs> nothing. So the teleport doesn't lead to a chip. And I'm pretty sure I pushed all the blocks. Apparently not. I, what did I say? Anyway, the day the world was supposed to end. 
don't touch any tank buttons. See what happens if you press one above. This also means don't distract the monsters. So what am I supposed to do here? I'm going to assume I need to... Uh... Hold that trap button down with this other block. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. So that glider is going to be uh, give me some issues later. Yeah, levels where you have to not disturb monsters are quite interesting. So it looks like I have a way through here. Get the yellow key. Get this other yellow key. And... Yeah, I wouldn't be able to slip, not use all the recessed walls, so I had to. So now we have a little Soka Ban where I'm not allowed to step on some things. I wish I could see ahead and know how many I need, but I'm going to assume it's three, and I was correct. Okay, so now I have suction boots. And I'm going to need to go through the trap. So in links, this would be a little bit trickier to time, uh, but not by much. So just going to grab all the uh, keys that I can. So it looks like I can lose my section boots at the cost of... Uh, Spend all my keys at the cost of suction boots. Was there anything else back here? No, I just need the green. So now we have a tooth monster. And I see four bombs and a green key. But... Um... Hmm. Wait, no, this, this, is, uh, do this is doable. I see three blocks and a teeth. If I use the teeth monster on this first one, which I can, then I should be able to retrieve all of these and use them on the bombs. Next, there's two recessed walls, which is exactly enough to get them into the lower bombs. Which is pretty, which is a pretty clever use of the recessed walls. So now I have a green key. Which means I need to go that way. But I can also go up here and get skates. Do I want to do that? I'd lose skates if I go down there. But there's... Um... Would I be able to go back? MS only trick right there. Just for exploration purposes. Okay, so it looks like I do want to go through here. Get the skates and work my way down. It also looks like I'll be partial posting using, I'm assuming that's a block cloner, uh, facing up. I hope that doesn't uh, kill me later. Nice, blue key under the block. So what do we have to do with this mess? Looks like it's another uh, Stocko Man worm. Nothing too tricky. Just have to be... Just have to be careful. Um, okay. Just, uh, thinking through block-pushing paths. Okay, yeah, none of them rely on the trap buttons. I 
right, nicely done. Again, that that could be pretty nasty in Lynx right there. In fact, I think this part is pretty nasty in Lynx. I'm not sure. The cycles might be designed such so that it's not. But it definitely has the potential to be a cheap death in Lynx. Okay, so what are we doing with this teleport? So it looks like I have to put the two blocks in here and then partial post to the right. Yep, okay, so now I have flippers. So now I can go through this room with the gliders. And more ball dodging. So I've got one passage through this room. I'll wait for the ball because I don't know how tight this timing is. And we have a walker. I hope that walker um isn't hitting anything critical here. I wish I could see back there. Okay, I can see back there. Okay, so the walker is not hitting anything, and in fact, I need to keep it from being able to hit anything. How can I do that with just this one block? Oh wait, no, this is... I have a second block. Why do I have a second block? I don't think I need it. Because I'm pretty sure what I can do is... that. And he's gonna go back, and then he's never gonna hit a tank button. Ever. So what's this block for? Oh. Did I seriously just cook the level right at the end? Okay, I might actually be able to make a run for it. Okay, I might not actually be screwed here. If I can time everything exactly right, I think I'm not screwed. Wait, no. If I go one, two... Yeah, if I go one, two with the tank, it'll flip and then I'll flip it again. So I could either release this fireball and then make a mad dash for it. Uh, let me count moves. Because I'd be able to cancel out the bugs press on that tank button with this one. So if I timed it right, I'd have eight moves to go and move that down. Okay, yeah, I can get away with this, but I'm pretty sure the one, two approach is safer. So yeah, I could have uh, taken the chip, pressed the tank button below, but I'd rather play it a little safer. So Day of the World was supposed to end solved on the first try. That was a little tricky. Oh, early morning smoke alarm. Why do I remember this? I haven't played it, so why do I remember it? Oh, already screwed. All right. This this is the first room. It's not too bad. It's just a matter of finding a way through. Yeah. See, that wasn't that bad at all. So now I have fire boots. Let's see what's down here. Okay. This is actually pretty cool. That one first. Alright. So 
that was a fun little room. I'm surprised I haven't played any uh, level, like any rooms like that one before. That was a really cool idea. Oh, now it's invisible walls. That's kind of uncool. Just a little bit. It's because they were hidden earlier. Okay. So this room... We're gonna get a little chaos. That's stable. Okay, got it anyway. That really could have ended badly. I forgot I could step on the fire there. Regardless, I now have a red and a yellow key. What can I do with these? I see a red lock over there, but I don't see anything else I can really do. Because back by the start, there's that blue key, but I can't get to that. Oh. Oh, wait, no, I have multiple red keys. Okay. Now things get a little chaotic. So I have one solitary tank button press. No reason not to take that chip. The tanks will also flip the toggles. So I should just take it. Okay, so I can get uh, these... And I have a block. What can I do with this block down here? This seems to be patterned. Get a fireball in the room below to hit the trap button for me. Alright, let's go figure that out. Okay, so that'll give me a little maze section. I, I think I'm going to do this dodging first, though. Because it is dodging, and that is something that causes death if you screw it up. Well, the other part is more of just a puzzle. So I'm going to wait for this fireball. I'm going to wait for the second one to get cloned, and then go down. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. I'd still rather not have to do it again, though. So this first fireball, I th think... Okay, so I can still slip through this. Nice. And that's only dependent on one chip, so the other two can go die. Are there any fireballs left in this tunnel? Nope. Alright. So this is actually a pretty fun level. What do I do with you? Nothing, I just leave you alone. So he's gonna come back, because I set up the path so he would. And then I'm gonna be left alone. So I still need two chips, but there was a green lock back closer to the start. And there was one ship I left behind over here, because I don't need the trap button now. Okay, so let's go back through the teleport. No chips remaining, and looks like it's just about the end. So what is the purpose of these sockets? Oh, I get a blue key. That's cool. Oh, this is a run for it at the end. That's a pretty easy one. So early morning smoke alarm is done. Pushy 2, the unofficial sequel. Uh, if this is going to be anything like the original Pushy, I don't know if I want to do this right now. Don't let this red button here get hit. Original level made by Tyler Sontag, which I knew. Oh, I really don't know if I want to do this right now.
Especially because I'm pretty sure I've already lost. Yep. It's like... Wait, okay, yeah. So if I have to hit the tank button, and we'll assume I deflected it, then I have a yellow key so I can go in there. Yay. Okay, which in turn lets me get the blue. Which lets me... I don't even know. Oh, wait, no, I have a red then, so I can teleport. So maybe this is a little simpler than I think it is. I still don't like that. Even if I've gotten the timing twice now, I still don't like doing it. I don't like all these keys either. So I have to throw away my flippers, otherwise I can't get that chip ever. So what's through the teleport? Bummer. A glider! Because what else would be through the teleport? <laughs> uh... This is so confusing. I know that's the point, but... <laughs> it doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> okay. So now I get to look. So I need the tanks switching on their own. Because that would let me explore up there. And I can do that. So the glider will hit the tank button every 10 moves. Bummer. Why did I do that? I am not a fan of this level at all right now. <laughs> Like, the original pushy was cool because it was contained, but this it had, like, one really cool partial post, even if it was a little annoying to actually do that partial post. I'm talking about the one off the glider. This one... This level's just annoying in places. Okay, so I don't even... Okay, no, I need to deflect the glider up here. So now I have a block still. And I'm assuming I need to take the block with me down here. That's what the recessed walls are for. What in the world is this? Okay, I'm going to assume I know how these are hooked up. I am not very enthused by this room. So, chip's a safe take. Bummer. That's why I wasn't in... Because if you go slightly early, you're dead. Go back to start. I'm just glad I guessed the timing on that uh, pretty early on. Seriously? I partial posted the block off the glider? Seriously? I knew that had a chance of happening, and I didn't like it. Because there's 
absolutely no uh, audio cue, no visual cue, no way of knowing where that glider is. Just like the one in Pushy, you want to partial post off of, but this one you don't, and that makes it even more annoying. Oh, this level. I haven't even seen half of it, and I'm already feeling tired of it. Yeah, I can't even see. Okay, I did not partial post off the glider again. At least, like, this time, I have the tank button being pressed as a cue to know when to go. Okay, so we're back in the dumb block slidey room. Okay, so I did need to release the fireballs at some point anyway. Can I time this right, maybe? Can I time this right, maybe? Was... Maybe I was timing it right and I was just hitting it against the fireball every time. Nice keyboard. Oh, it tried. So I'm gonna, definitely going to need that block back. Oh, that's... I'm probably screwed now. No, half weights for the win! Okay. I should have been dead. Okay, so now what do we do? So I can go up there, and then I can partial post down? Do I want to do that? I have two red keys. I think there's a red key below. Okay, thank you for letting me actually kind of explore almost. So I'm going to assume, because the level lets me do this... This is what I want to do. Nice. I have no clue if that's what I wanted to do either, but I'm going to assume it is. So I can clone an extra block. This looks like a block that gets pushed. No? 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 Oh, come on! Seriously? I did that cool stunt? And it cooks the level on me? <laughs> That's so uncool. Like, I assumed based on the level that I wanted to do the shenanigans with the teleport. Oh, somewhere new. No, instead I wanted to push one down through the teleport. Because of course I did! How was I supposed to know that? I couldn't see anything! Bummer. Josh, why? I'm trying not to get, like, negative with the commentary here. But I'm also trying to keep commenting on things, but... Just redoing this is so annoying right now. Because I don't feel like any of this is difficult. It's just really, really obnoxious. Like, just because there's a lot of precise timing things. Like that. I know that's right at the start, so I'm not complaining too much about that. But there's a lot of precise timing and a lot of places where it's not clear at all what to do or what even the outcomes of your actions are going to be. It's like with the partial post stuff with the uh, force floor circuit room. 
I had no way of knowing what was coming next, other than opening the editor and looking there. Which, if I die late again, I am actually just going to do that. Just so I can try to figure this out and uh, actually make progress. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, of course. This is why I, this right here is why I elected to hold on to, to not pick up the suction booth yet. Just to be safe. I don't even think the suction boots are are technically required here. Anyway, let's do this again. Did I just do it again? Bummer. Okay, I'm opening this level up in the editor now. Because I want to see what actually is going on there. Because that was slide delay resulting in uh, me just pushing it wrong. Like, and they can't move me it over. I'm not going to be happy, but if that was a block being cloned onto the lower layer, then I'm completely lost and I need to look to be able to figure this out. Okay. So... Let me just add a new window capture here. Okay, here's the editor. I'll just go hit fit to screen on that. So now you can see the editor. Now you can see what I'm seeing. No, not enlarge the window. Just move it over to the side so that's all I see. So this is a way I do solving stuff. Original copy of the level. Edit and a level and another copy of the level I can actually edit. So what hooks up to that machine? There's the one button, which means yes, I did in fact try deliberately try not to and somehow still do it wrong. Because it's very clear to me that uh, I think the mouse pointer can be seen. Yeah, it's very clear to me that I need to go here go. Up and push the block up into that bomb, grab the suction boots, tip, blue key. Um, with the blue key, I can take another block. I can take the cloned block from here down into here to the teleport. And with the suction boots, it's not a problem that I come up here. Uh, nice, though. So what does this teleport lead to? Because I don't like the look of this teeth. That teleport is required. So you need to have fire boots at the end. Where are there fire boots in this level? Right there. Where is there a thief past that point? There isn't one. You need a yellow key, which I'm going to assume is this one under the block, which you get automatically. This makes you partial post through. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. You partial post across all the teleports at once, and then you go through here. Okay. So what that's telling me is I basically had the level, I just got screwed over. Awesome. Like, I honestly don't know, though, why the uh, second one didn't quite work. Okay, at least the glider didn't partial post the block again. Come on. Mm 
So let's deal with the annoying loop section down here, and then the other kind of annoying loop section. Of course I released them first. Why would I do anything else? Gonna wait for the fireballs to pass. Uh, did not deserve to live there. I'm getting better at the uh, inputs here. I'm gonna take the suction boots anyway, even though I'm not sure if I need them. I'd just rather have them just in case. Yes, I touched the border. Yeah, I did not actually need those suction boots. I'm not even gonna mess with the teleports. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing at this point. So now I wait. There we go. Was that really, really so hard to get? <laughs> I specifically timed that the first time I got there, too. Which is what what's so ironic. I specifically timed it, and then I specifically tried not to time it, and timed it anyway. With the blue lock, block slide... Block slide. With the suction boots, as expected down here is not bad at all. So, I'm gonna use the yellow, use the thief, get the chip, then I step on the thief, then I'm gonna be able to use the socket on the way back. Um, clear that after, so leave the bomb, and okay. This is why I looked ahead a little bit. <laughs> And you do the same stunt again, except a little harder to see in advance. Okay, that ball's a little mean. So, fire boots. I can't do anything without them. Yellow key, red key. Partial posting in progress. So I'd be really worried if I didn't know there was a blue key under one of these blocks. Specifically that one. Which is again a little mean almost. Are we through yet? No. So there's two more blocks to work with. One more. One more. I think I've got it this time, though. No more silly teleport mishaps. Yep, okay. So now I have a blue key, and a yellow key, and a red key. So, I need to lure the teeth onto the slide, go through, go around. Come on. And Pushy 2, the unofficial sequel, is done. I will move on to Chanter Sapphires when I next find time to record and do another video, because uh, Pushy 2 took a lot out of me. Uh, overall, though, like, I'm gonna bring the editor back up, or try to. Like, overall, though, this is not a bad level. It's just... I'm just going to say the same thing I told Josh about. Uh, which one of mine was it? It was one of my levels. I'm actually looking at the conversation to see. Okay. Uh, in the right place at the right time that I made. It's, one, it's another one of those levels where there's a lot of clever little tricks, but I probably should have left one of them out. 
I think at least one of these clever little tricks probably should have been left out, or one of these sections, because it does drag on a little bit. And with the amount of unknown teleport behaviors, especially, especially down here, like, not being able to see this glider, it's a nod to pushy, I get it, but functionally it's kind of annoying, and right over here, this section, uh, really I wouldn't, I would prefer a recessed wall there, or a th even a thief tile, like putting a thief tile right here uh, would have worked. I think it would have worked pretty well. Just some way of uh, recovering your, the mistake. Because you can't really see. Anyway, that's a nitpick on um, Pushy 2. Since I have the editor up, um, like if I just scroll down here, uh, the other levels I played, Into the Volcano, this was fun. I like the symmetry at the bottom. Uh, the wait for the fireballs is a little long, but nitpicking. Loot, not much to say about loot. The day the world was supposed to end, this was a lot of fun. It was a little long, and the end is a really easy to screw up. But I did like that there were recovery methods, especially with... I don't think the um, two-tank button thing I found was intended, nor do I think the fact that I noticed that I could make this run intended. But, you know, you can do both of those things, so I appreciate that the end isn't as rigid as the remainder of the level. I had fun with that. And if I remember right, Josh said that this was not that good, but I'm not sure. He said that three were of the levels in the set were among the worst from the JCCLPT section. I remember 101 was one of them, so I'm a little worrying about that. But I think um, 93 was another one, and I actually really enjoyed Early Morning Smoke Alarm. Anyway, this outro has gone on way too long. So, Chant of Sapphires, which is a blue wall maze where you don't want to get blue keys in the next video.